We're following new developments after a routine eviction turned into a sting operation, literally. It all played out in Longmeadow as a woman unleashed a swarm of bees on sheriff's deputies attempting to serve eviction papers. Welcome everyone to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Mary Wilson. Western Mass News reporter Glenn Kittle joins us live in studio with that story. Glenn. Yeah, Chris, Mary, it's definitely a story you don't hear every day. The Hampton County Sheriff's Department tells me several of their deputies and bystanders were stung by bees unleashed by a woman protesting an eviction. Take a look at these photos of a woman donning a beekeeper's outfit as she protests the eviction of a Longmeadow man from his memory lane home last week. She arrived hauling boxes full of bees, which she tried to release outside the house, but Hampton County Sheriff's Department stepped in quickly to try and close the lids. Chief Deputy Sheriff of Hampton County Robert Hoffman tells Western Mass News this act of violence was unexpected. I've been doing this for 17 years, and we try to do a great job of um, sizing up different situations that we're walking into each day. It was Miss Woods' arrival uh, with her vehicle and trailer that really kind of uh, caused things to um, go haywire, if you will. We're told in the scuffle, the boxes fell over, releasing bees on several sheriff's deputies and bystanders. Woods then put on a beekeeper's outfit and brought another box of bees to the front door and started to agitate the bees in an attempt to stop the eviction. Woods was then arrested and is facing a long list of charges, including four counts of assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Hoffman adds, the sheriff's department has always tried to deal with these incidents as professionally as possible, and cases of violence typically don't occur during most evictions. I would say the, the occasions of violence are rather rare, and we like to kind of um, chalk that up as we, uh, due to our outreach, you know, our, our, the relationship we try to build with people that, you know, are on the cusp of being evicted. Now coming up at six, how this particular eviction got to this point and why many are calling for change to help prevent evictions in the first place. Live in the studio, Glenn Kittle, Western Mass News.